And as Ukraine awaits the arrival of F-16s from the Netherlands, Russia is targeting airfields in western Ukraine, which is home to an important air base and a frequent target of Moscow strikes. Ukrainian officials have not revealed where the F-16s will be based, but Moscow said that the strike targeted airfields that believed that they believed would house them. Meanwhile, a Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson said that the strikes presented certain difficulties but would not undermine the delivery of F-16s or their use in the battle. The first batch of planes are expected to arrive this month and Ukraine hopes that it will boost forces struggling to repel a Russian onslaught along the front line. Meanwhile, the United States of America it has announced that it will soon announce more than $2.3 billion in new security assistance for Ukraine. On the diplomatic front, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has urged Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to consider a ceasefire to end the war with Russia. Orban, who is an outspoken critic of Western military aid to Ukraine, held talks with Zelensky during his first trip to Kiev in more than a decade. More details in our next report. In his surprise visit to Kiev on Tuesday, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban gave a clear message on how to end Russia's war in Ukraine. I asked the president to think about whether we could reverse the order and speed up peace talks by making a ceasefire first. A ceasefire connected to a deadline would give a chance to speed up peace talks. I explored this possibility with the president and I am grateful for his honest answers and negotiation. Orban has the warmest relations of any EU leader with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The outspoken critic of Western military aid to Ukraine held talks with President Volodymyr Zelensky during his first trip to Kyiv in more than a decade. We would like to make the relationship between the two countries better. We would like to make a broad bilateral agreement with Ukraine, similar to the ones we already have made with our neighbours. We would be happy to take part in the modernization of Ukraine's economy. We would like an ordered framework for this. He also said he valued Kyiv's push to promote Zelensky's vision of peace at an international summit in June. The Ukrainian president, who spoke before Orban, did not respond to those comments. Ties between the neighbors came under heavy strain after Russia launched its full-scale invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022. Budapest has often opposed the European Union efforts to support Kyiv. Earlier this year, it took EU leaders weeks to break Orban's veto to extend over 50 billion euros in new aid to the war-torn country. Under Orban, Hungary has repeatedly accused Ukraine of curbing the rights of roughly 150,000 ethnic Hungarians living in the far west of Ukraine. Ukraine denies this and says it is open to addressing any concerns. Kyiv is keen to support Hungary's backing as it relies heavily on financial and military support from the 27-member EU, where unanimity is needed for many decisions.